Now we're going to create the right arm. Select deltoid underscore zero one underscore L, the top of the left arm hierarchy. Then select mirror hierarchy. Make the name edit method none. Then hit OK to replicate the bones. Open scene editor. There are now two sets of bones. At the end of each name is a one or two in parentheses. The twos are the new right side. Go through and rename them, replacing the L's with the R's. Create a new null. Name it asterisk hand underscore R. Make sure parent in place is on. Parent the hand underscore R null to the hand underscore R bone. Zero out the new null. Create a keyframe. Now unparent the hand underscore R null. Change the object color to dark green to match the rest of the nulls. Select the hand underscore R bone and notice the direction the arrows are pointing. Now match the orientation of hand underscore R null to the hand underscore R bone. Create keyframe to lock the object in place. Select the hand underscore R null. Open the object properties panel. Select add custom object, then select item shape. Open the item shape panel, then match the parameters of the left side. Check filled. Make the box size 30 millimeters. Choose the light color for the selected state. Choose the dark color for the unselected state. Now we need to set up the right side IK. Select hand underscore R. Open motion options. Make the goal object asterisk hand underscore R. Check full time IK. Check match goal orientation. Check keep goal in reach. We need to make a right wrist hand follower. Select wrist underscore R and open motion options. Select add modifier then follower. Open follower panel. Select item to follower then asterisk hand underscore R. Turn off X, Y, Z position. Turn off heading, pitch. Change bank to 0.5. Turn off scale, X, Y, Z. Make sure after IK is checked. When we duplicated the bones from the left, we inherited their attributes. We need to reverse the motion limits placed on the forearm. With the forearm underscore R selected, open motion options. Flip the minimum and maximum numbers for the heading controller. Close the extra panels. Let's check the IK. Oops. If the bone seems to ignore the IK, Make sure the IK is turned on. There we go. And now the arm IK is done. Ta-da!